Hello lovelies! As you know, all month long I am sharing inspired, entertaining ideas that are perfect for the holidays. And today I could not be more excited because we are throwing my favorite kind of party, a wine and cheese party. I do love me some wine and cheese. This party really celebrates all of the colors, textures, and beautiful flavors of the season. It's so full of incredible food. And the coolest part is that almost all of the decor is edible. How awesome is that? To get started, I wanted to create a little bit of drama, so I actually used a black tablecloth. Or if I'm being really honest, I used a black sheet because I couldn't find a black tablecloth. I really think that black base helps everything appear a little more vibrant. Next, I wanted to add a little flourish to the party by framing up some of my favorite cheese quotes. Like this one. Sweet dreams are made of cheese. Who am I to disagree? I promise you I will not sing again in this video. All of these amazing prints and labels were all designed by our awesome graphic designer, Emily, and they are all available in our Etsy store. Be sure to take a look. The links are in the description box below. And all you have to do is print them out and then you can frame them any way you like. In sticking with my wine and cheese theme, I thought it would be really fun to make my candle holders out of upside down wine glasses. All I did was fill the wine glasses with some leftover corks and then top them with a lovely candle. Keep in mind, these can be a little precarious, so definitely make sure you situate them where there's not gonna be a lot of bumping. Now to help my guests keep track of their wine glasses, I thought it would be great to paint the bottoms of my wine glasses using chalkboard paint and just leave a piece of chalk out. That way, each guest can write their name on the bottom of their glass and they'll know whose is whose. Now for this party, instead of making floral arrangements, I thought it would be really fun to actually make arrangements of fresh herbs. All I did was combine some beautiful rosemary with some fresh parsley and sage, bunched it together, and then put it in these adorable little matte black pots. The great part about these arrangements is that once the party's over, you can actually send them home with your guests and they can use the herbs in their holiday cooking. To add a little more color to my display, I actually filled some tumblers with some fresh cranberries. I think they look super pretty and of course, super edible. I think one of the biggest highlights of this table is my beautiful tower of fruit. When I was putting this together, I wanted to use some fruit that had beautiful color, lots of deep purples and reds. So I combined some grapes, some strawberries, some plums and some blackberries and it looks so super decadent. It's definitely safe to say this display is a feast for both the eyes and the belly. Speaking of belly, what wine and cheese party would be complete without a whole lot of cheese? Now growing up, my mom was a deli manager and she taught me everything I know about cheese. And I have to say, these might be some of the best cheese boards I think I've ever put together. I love the variety of cheeses represented here. I wanted to do something spicy, something smoky. I've got some classics like brie and blue, and also a nice sharp cheddar, plus some harder cheeses like Parmesan. It's really important when you're putting a cheese board together to give people different flavors and textures, because of course, variety is the spice of life. To complement all of these tasty cheeses, I've combined some fresh fruit, I've got some dried fruit, some beautiful nuts, I've also got some fig jelly and a red pepper jelly. This one's a little spicy, which I love. I've also got a huge assortment of baguettes, crackers, and breadsticks for my guests to enjoy. I wanted to make sure my guests knew which cheese was which, so I created these adorable little labels. All I did was print them out, cut them out, and then created little stands using some wine corks. Now, if you are not a huge wine enthusiast and don't have a ton of corks lying around your house, not to worry, you can actually buy these at the craft store, or I found some online that are super inexpensive. They actually come from bars. They sell them online, they sell their corks for crafts. Kind of genius, in fact. A great way to reuse and recycle. Now, all you need to do is stand your cork up and then very carefully cut a little slit across the top when I say very carefully, I really do mean it. I learned that the hard way. You can see my battle wound right here. And then all you need to do is slip the label inside the cork and then stand it up next to the cheese. How cute is that? 
For my carnivorous guests, I also put out a nice spread of cured meats. I've got some prosciutto, some salami, and some capicolo. I've complemented those with some pickles, some grainy mustard, some olives, and holy smokes, what you have is quite the spread. To wash all of this deliciousness down, I've put out some of my favorite wines. I like using a nice combination of red and white to offer my guests. I've also got some bubbly on ice for those who like to imbibe in a little champagne. And finally, I think it's really important to leave a non-alcoholic option for your guests that aren't drinking. Speaking of drinking, I think we all know by now that drinking and driving is not cool. So to help make sure your guests get home safe, it's always a good idea to leave a taxi number visible and then make sure that they use it. Seriously guys, I wish all of you could have come to this party. I think it would have been a blast. I really hope you find some of these ideas inspiring and that you'll give some of them a try at home. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo of course, I love seeing your creations. Keep in mind, all of these awesome labels and signs are available in my Etsy store, so you can just click the link in the description box below if you'd like to take a look. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more entertaining where this came from.